Hey, what's up? Yeah, Marjack79 here. So today it's just going to be a little bit of a Star Wars video. Just some collage of information about the most recent episode of The Mandalorian. Uh, some new Star Wars info that's, that's came out for Disney Plus, And some Star Wars uh, souvenirs that I got from my most recent trip to Florida. So the, the most recent episode of The Mandalorian. Holy crap. So good. Bill Burr is a treasure. He is an absolute treasure. Um... The two episodes that he has appeared in in The Mandalorian, him bringing just the comedic effort to the show is so it's such a, bre a breath of fresh air. I definitely love his performance. Uh, I'm hoping that he is in future episodes, probably not going to be in the finale, but I'm hoping he makes a return for season three. I would love that. Probably my favorite part of the episode is just him seeing him be serious and hearing like that Imperial commando, like talk shit and then him pull out his blaster. And then, you know what I'm saying? When he was like, so you just really just don't care about the hundreds of people that lost their lives when they just died for the empire. Right. And he and the empire commander is like, oh, it was for the listen up boy. It was for the Empire. And I'm like, this dude's got to fucking die. He's got to die. You need to take him out right now. Then it's like, as soon as I got that thought process, boom, he's gone. I'm like, ah, sweet. Yeah. <laughs> so, a pretty uh, satisfying, you know, finish to his story arc for this season, too. You know, kind of like pretending that, that he's dead, so on and so forth. Really cool, man. We also got some more unmasked Mando as well. Really cool to see his face again. Um... It's just, it's just a, it gives you a different feel that, you know, shows that the Mando is actually human. He's just not this indestructible, you know, bounty hunter that just doesn't have human emotions. You know, getting to see his face, you know, seeing the worry and the stress, you know, that he actually does care about Grugo and he's doing all this to secure his safety. So, but this is probably my favorite part of the episode where he sent this transmission to Moff Gideon. I'm very excited to see the finale. I'm hoping that Ahsoka makes a appearance. I don't kind of doubt that she will, though. I'm kind of guessing a uh, a uh, Baskar staff uh, battle versus the Dark Saber. Really hoping that we see that. That's going to be epic. But yeah, this little you know speech that he gave him was absolutely amazing. So some Disney Plus news. You know, it was announced that Hayden Christian is going to be making his return as Darth Vader to the Obi Wan Kenobi Disney Plus uh, show. So that is very exciting. I don't know what prominently his role is going to be. I'm sure we're going to get some flashbacks of him as Anakin Skywalker, maybe some dream sequences. And I want to actually see him in the suit too. Him actually get to portray Darth Vader, like Darth Vader, Darth Vader. Because we only really got like one scene from episode three, you know, as him actually within the suit, you know, being Darth Vader. The whole no. So <laughs> it would be actually really, be, really be epic to see him walk around in the suit. You know, and I've seen some people like comment on some stuff like, does it really matter who's actually in the suit? Yes. Yes, it does. This is the most iconic villain of all time. It definitely matters who's in the suit. The hell is wrong with you? Sheesh. But yeah, then I've also heard some gripes and people trying to complain because there's some rumors going around that Anakin and Obi-Wan are going to have another lightsaber battle. Just, just let it happen, people. I know, I know. It's supposed to be the first time that they meet since episode three in A New Hope when they have their final duel. But dude, just, just trust i'm sure john favreau is going to be at the helm i'm sure he's going to be able to figure out some story elements to make it make sense just you know chill the fuck out just 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 let it happen brother okay okay the bulk of time black series pre-orders came out today who got one not me <laughs> sold out in like a minute uh target amazon walmart hasbro all the websites is gone in seconds so you know, it's cool though. You know, I've literally hunted 95% of, of all of my Black Series figures, anyways. You know, it's only like a couple that I've actually bought from the internet. So this one will be literally be no different. So I'm looking forward to it. Oh, and obviously I can't even begin to express my excitement for the Ahsoka Tana show that was announced for Disney Plus as well. Yes, yes, I think that was obvious with the amazing episode from the mandalorian that she was in portrayed by osario dawson so excited for that show cannot wait
Can I definitely cannot wait to get that Boa Katan figure in. She's, she's gonna go right there, right in the middle. Can't wait. <laughs> oh yeah. All right, let's take it upstairs to the studio and let's look at some new stuff I got. Okay, now up in the studio, man. So on our most recent trip to Florida, we did not do any Disney parks for this little trip. Uh, we only did Universal Studios, but we did stop in downtown Disney Springs. And then we stopped in the Star Wars Outpost shop and we picked up this Galaxy's Edge Black Spire Outpost Millennium Falcon miniature model. So look at that, man. That is amazing. Picked it up for, I think it was, yeah, $29.99. There you go. Star Wars Galaxy Z. You got the official logo right there, of course. So let's get some Millennium Falcon. This is based off of the Smuggler's Run attraction. Definitely not my favorite. I definitely prefer Rise of the Resistance to Smuggler's Run when it comes to Galaxy Z. But still, nonetheless, an amazing piece to add to the Disney Parks collection. So, you can zoom in of the Falcon here. Looks really good. So, when you get videos like this, man, of course you see this kind of stuff on the shelf and you kind of expect it, but here, which when you get it on camera, you really get a chance to look at it from a different perspective. You know what I'm saying? See, look at that forced perspective there with the background. Looks really cool. And we'll, we'll get to those cars here in a second. Got the rocks there, looks really dope. The door there. Yeah, I mean, nothing too too fancy. I mean, of course it's not. I mean, it's strictly a statue, so nothing too crazy. But it was just something that I really wanted. Like, even during my first trip to Galaxy's Edge, I looked at this and I wanted to pick it up, but pretty much all of my extra financial means went towards my Galaxy's Edge lightsaber first. And then on my next trip, I got the the Jedi holocron, the Sith holocron, and all the Kyber crystals. So I told myself when I returned on the next trip, this would definitely be the next thing that I would get. This would, for right now, this would probably be the last thing that I get from Galaxy's Edge until they release something else cool. I'm really looking at those Ahsoka Tana lightsabers. Yeah, so that might be the next thing I, I get. But this is really dope, man. Just something to like, kind of go with, you know, Cinderella's Castle and, you know, the Sorcerer's Hat, Spaceship Earth, Tree of Life. If, if you follow my channel, you know I have all that stuff in the Disney Parks section of the museum. So this is definitely a good piece to add to that as well. So very nice. Very nice. Very satisfied with that. Comes out great. So what's cool about this is that each one of these pieces on the sales floor was individually crafted. You know, it was not made in like a factory. You know, somebody actually like handcrafted this. So I think that's what makes it so special. So yeah, that's pretty much it, man. So, okay, I also picked up this uh, mini Cooper van here. Pretty cool, got this for Faye. So pretty, pretty simple, pretty standard. Just some, just a model of the the mini Uber isk lift whatever vans that you can ride around the Walt Disney World Resort if you don't want to ride the free bus service. Normally, you know, back during our college days and our broke days, you know, we used to take full advantage of the bus system, but now we usually just rent a car and go from there. So I just think it just makes it so much easier when you have your own transportation because this i think that's the worst thing ever I, I, now i mean if you can't afford it you can't afford it i get it 100 percent, 1000 percent, actually but man if you have the means i definitely you know if you're been walking around for 12 hours especially the magic kingdom it's like one o'clock in the morning and you're leaving the park and then you gotta stand for like another half an hour in that bus line oh <laughs> <laughs> Brings back nightmares, man. I think that's definitely when the magic officially ends. <laughs> so then for just for the cars, I mean, we just added some more essentials to the, our cars collection. Last time I talked Disney collectibles, I, I started collecting the uh, die-cast cars. So we picked up Mater, Jackson Storm, and uh, the Dynaco Cruise Mirage. We already have Lightning and a few others, so be really cool to add these to the collection. So let's let's crack them open. Okay, so first we have Mater here. In my opinion, that is a spot on representation of how a Mater appears in the film. Tilt Mater, Radiation Springs. Let's get to the front here. Very cool side here. The graphic technology for these cars really comes out good, man. Gotta love that. 
definitely if you're if you're any kind of a fan of these movies, man, I feel like these are must-haves. I mean, I'm, I'm not the biggest Cars fan, but you know, I think I, I feel like I'm getting these basically just based off of my memory from going to Disneyland and experiencing uh, Radiator Springs at Disney's California Adventure. So you have Jackson Storm here, sleek black painting, looks really good. Ended Lightning's career. Got his Piston Cup logo right there, really cool. So back there, the 20. Liquid Adrenaline. Very sweet. Very cool, man. Like I said, really, really like these. Really do. Who's Marais, the new MVP. I wonder if they'll make like a Cars 4 and focus uh, a movie based on her new adventures of her lightning continuing in that mentor ship role. I doubt it, honestly, but if they ever made it, I would still go see it. It would be cool. Plus, if I, who's all excited about that new Lightyear, that Buzz Lightyear, that Chris Evans is doing the voice of uh, Buzz Lightyear, not based off the toy, but based off the actual character that the toy is based off of? But hey, that's going to be epic. Very excited for that. There was a crap ton of Disney stuff that got announced too, but I might save that for another video. I want to flood. I want to really want to just focus this on Star Wars stuff and just so some so just a few extras here. So that's really it, man. So okay, let's go ahead. And let's take all this stuff down to the museum, and we will finish out here. Okay, then we made it down to the museum. Just real quick, a quick update to this a little Pixar corner I got going on here. So we got Lightning, Cruise, Mater, Jackson Storm got mentor lightning and dj pretty cool like i said i got wally it's incredible eve so yeah i need some toy story stuff man that's definitely what i'm missing i have some disney infinity buzz woody and jesse but definitely need some toy story stuff minivan this goes right there this shelf you know why not and to kind of finish this out here we have the black spire outpost right here on the main shelf right next to Cinderella Castle here. Ignore the cash, the door right there. <laughs> on top of the Haunted Mansion cup. I feel like that goes great right there. A spaceship berth on the side. A Pandora, Floating Mountains, Tree of Life, Sleeping Beauty Castle, Splash, Mickey's Runaway Railroad, the Disneyland Paris Castle, Admiral Donald, so on and so forth. Or Disney cruise ship, yeah, <laughs> and of course, transportation bus, Disney Express bus. <laughs> Gotta love it, man. All right, okay, that's gonna do it for this video, people. So as always, if you like the video, do me a favor, hit that like button. Uh, I cannot wait for the new episode of The Mandalorian to come out on Friday. That is the season finale. Oh, I cannot wait, dude. We'll definitely be back to cover that when it comes out. So, alrighty, as always, thanks everybody for watching. You can follow me at youtube.com slash marjack79. Also on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And as always, I will see you guys on the next one. I'll catch you guys later.